What's up, everybody? It's your boy JD back again with another video. You guys know what time it is. It's time to hop back in the Apothecary Prince. So, we're about to go ahead and get into it, see what's in store for us today. But before we do, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We'll take support any further. Patreon link is in the description below. Also, join our top game membership and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video or go live on the channel. So, let's go ahead and get into it, man. Blah, this stuff is surprisingly bitter. I mean, I would assume so. My antidote. I never heard of an antidote that tastes amazing. Give it here, you bastard. I don't think so. There's no way I pass up. This chance to secure some easy lifespan. Well, I mean, that is true. Easy lifespan, yeah, we, we need that. We need all of that. He like, bruh, I, I can't hold out any. And he's done. <laughs> Not the thumbs up. Not the thumbs up, bro. That's evil. The table set. Inferior to the spinous process of the fifth thoracic vertebrae. There's about 1.5 fingers out to each side is the Simpsy point. Oh, we saved him. Yeah, if I were to try that, that shit never work. And now, to add the antidote. Discharging. Why are we giving him the antidote? I'm curious. I thought we were just letting him die. Oh well, we do get we do get points from saving them, right? Okay, so I mean I guess that makes sense. Trigger Zanfi level one. The skill is activated. Patient Cusman. Treatment detoxification. Projected lifespan increased 21 years, two months. Lifespan to be transferred 3.81 days. The bonus transfer value has been rounded up. Final lifespan transfer four days. Projected lifespan 118 days. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. The fact that we gave somebody 21 years and we only get four days out of that, that's that's some stingy ass shit. <laughs> that is some stingy ass stuff, bro. We gave him 21 years and we get four days out of that. That's that's kind of fucked up. Cause at least gave us a year or 60 days. Jeez. Take him in. Let's pack up and head back to the palace. He like, wow, well, we, we can't beat him. Get an ass whoop here. How are these gladiators so strong? I'm pretty much begging them to stay put. Your Highness. Like, mm -hmm. Do you believe in now that I'm the crown prince? Nope, it doesn't look like he, he believes it still. It looks like he still doubts us a little bit, just a tad. But I guess he does. He put a sword down. It's mother. She looks as she did right after she passed away. I must be reliving that day in a dream. I'm dreaming about the day I was left alone in the world. Or rather, the day I was abandoned. Wake up, sleepyhead. I suppose a formal introduction is in order. 
I am Piero, His Highness the Crown Prince's personal physician. Uh, Damien Kane, it's a pleasure, sir. That's enough for the introductions. Now, come along. Things are going to get busy again. Sir, what sort of trouble are you brewing this time? Seriously, right? Like, what, what, what are you doing? Hey, sounds like you have no faith in me. The shit you're pulling, it, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. Soothing Ember Clinic. We got a whole clinic? What is this place, Sire? The treatment room, of course. After rescuing us from that pit, you allowed us to stay in your palace, and now you even offer us medical care. Why are you so kind to us, your highness? Oh, cause, cause we're gonna die if we don't do it. Yeah, no doubt they find it strange. I'm not exactly doing this for charity either, considering that most gladiators are in their early mid twenties and none pushing past 30. I can't, oh, I can bet the lifespan I'll earn by removing their curses would be hefty. But telling the truth would probably get me called a lunatic. Everything has a price. Don't get in your head that I've taken you in purely out of my goodwill. I'm quite unwell, and to be specific, I'm beleaguered by a host of illnesses. That's common knowledge among the Empire citizens, sire. I'll make sure your treatment is extra painful. <laughs> That's fucked up. Anyhow, the core physicians were unable to tame my illness. No matter the treatment, my condition kept getting worse. As such, I've taken it upon myself to discover new treatment methods. Do you see where I'm going with this, Demian? I believe you brought us here to test these new methods. Spot on. That's a way to flip it. That is a way to flip it. Demian, what's your take on the treatment I gave you? I had my first le session last night, and the shooting pains have all but subsided. If Demian can vouch for him, then... Hands up now for anyone who has reservations about this procedure. Perfect. They're all in. Now, I'll have no qualms about searing them to hell. That's fucked up. Good. Then let's begin. Shirts off and lie face down on the tables. The smell of burnt flesh. Such a horrible smell. He, he, he down bad for that shit. Six days later. I know that shit fucking hurt. It's not good. Nausea and cold sweats. Damn, they're showing withdrawal symptoms from the painkillers. Moxibustion might not be the best way to go. But he's perfectly fine. He's perfectly fine. Say, Demian. Yes, your highness. You don't feel lightheaded. I am, actually. What about any nausea? I'm resisting it, sire. Are you serious? I could pin this on plot armor, I guess. Anyways, I have to resort to other forms of treatment. Today's session is done. Return to your rooms and stay hydrated. Sergio stays. Sergio like, no, please, please, no more. I beg of you. Having a hard time with the withdrawal symptoms, right? No, sire, this is nothing. Boy, please. Well, who is he? Who do you think he's fooling? Bro, we looking at you. Take it easy and lie down. Doesn't look like it's nothing to me, Sergio. Here, let's take a look. Using this. Honestly, though, I'm not sure if acupuncture would do any good. 
Still, this fighter has been on painkillers longer than any of the others, meaning his withdrawal symptoms are the most severe, making him an ideal candidate for a trial. Let's start with the stomach meridian. The first acupoint will be the Yalte point. And the next point should be, uh-oh. Uh, Nani? Someone help me? <laughs> wait, wait, was that a reaction from the, well, this isn't good. This isn't good, my good people. Yes, knock him out. Thank you. Thank you, Demian. I'm pretty sure that was you who knocked him out. Are you all right, sire? Thank you. Where, where would we be without you, our Javier? Yeah, I think so. A relatively small stimulus was to throw him into a fit because of the withdrawal symptoms. His nervous system is likely hypersensitive right now. Even a tiny stimulus might feel like a stab wound. To tackle this problem, I'll need much finer needles. Your Highness. As a blacksmith, I can fashion needles as fine as thread according to your instructions. However, to consistently produce needles of uniform thickness will require the touch of a dwarven master smith. With apologies, the blacksmith. Damn it, I'm running out of time, and our draw symptoms will only get grow worse. What should I do? Your organs have detected an acute increase in your stress levels. Stress is the underlying cause of many illnesses. Your organs are offering guidance to help you cope with the stress. Well, that would help. Give us some, give us some insight. What a heartbreaking situation. Would you like a hint? My best advice. Oh, might be best to take this advice before I unleash your bowels, sir. Squeeze. Think back to the past. Remember what you can do with the, with the accumulated HP. Right, a summonable servant. You may invest the acquired HP to unlock various skills to summon a unique servant, just like in the novel. You have selected Draw a Random Servant. Powerful and unique servants will pledge absolute loyalty to their master, granting them access to a wide variety of, variety of abilities. Summon costs per draw 300 P, current HP 500. Would you like to initiate a draw? Please, let me get something good. So what are we getting? What are we getting? Initiating random servant draw, cost 300, remaining two. Before commencing a random draw, please state the desired function for your servant. The system will curate a pool of candidates to align with your preferences. Lord didn't even get this shit. Lloyd didn't get nothing of what he desired. It was all random. At least we get, <laughs> at least he gets a semi, at least he gets semi choice of actually what he wants. I need a servant capable of ensuring a steady supply of thin needles. Your preference has been registered. Thin needles, servant. If we're still going animals, I would assume it's going to be a porcupine just based based off of animals and if we're still going with animals thin needles porcupine comes to mind but let's see i could be wrong i could definitely be wrong blissful oinker the metal gatling poo and a poopy cactus what is with these names I agree. What the hell is with these names? The 
three candidates meet your criteria at varying levels, 100%, 50%, and 0%. Choose wisely. Your selection is final with no exchange, returns, or re That's fucked up. That's fucked up. I'm sorry. This, this is fucked up, bro. They could have... This is fucked up. This is fucked up. I'm going to tell you why it's fucked up. Lloyd just got random shit, right? Lloyd got random shit. Whether it was something he needed or whether it was something he didn't, he just had to work with it. And that was pretty much it. This is even worse because we have 100% of what we need. We have 50% of what we need and zero. And they're giving us a choice to choose, which is fucked up because we could choose 0%. That's that's fucked up. That is that is so messed up. That is so messed up. Meaning one's a dove, one's a septum, and one's a jackpot. Blissful anchor, the metal gatling poo, and poopy cactus. It's a real brain buster. <laughs> the system like, bro, are you gonna choose? I'd be like, no, you're going to give me three choices. I'm think. Damn it. Make up your mind already. Just pick poopy cactus, you fool. Okay, okay. Yeah, select the candidate three. Poopy cactus. I'd be like, how am I supposed to know which one to pick? Jackpot, please. Jackpot, please. I don't have a lot of... I don't have a lot of HP left, man. So, is it a porcupine? That's what I wonder. I want to know if I was... It is a porcupine. I was right. I wanna get I would have thought the metal poo would have been a porcupine, but I guess the poopy cactus kind of makes more sense. It makes sense as well to be a porcupine, so either or. But yeah, I was right. It was a porcupine. Ouch. That stinks. What? A hedgehog? Man, that's a goddamn porcupine. Hedgehogs don't have spikes, do they? Yeah, hedgehogs don't have. Do they have? They do have. But isn't a hedgehog just. Well, yeah, yeah. Hedgehogs and porcupines are kind of the same. It's just one's bigger and one's smaller. So I, I guess it's the same shit. Porcupines do have. I mean, hedgehogs do have spines and eagles. Porcupines do as well. They're, they're relatively the same fucking animal, just one's bigger and one's smaller. Rel for the most part, they're the same fucking animal. But okay, we got Sonic. Bet. I didn't even think of a damn hedgehog. And I said porcupine. Okay, Quilberts. So, his name is Quilbert. Can alter his size by ingesting the provided sunflower seeds. Where the pouch come out from? Red sunflower seed enlarges Quilbert. Enhances form duration 12 hours. Blue sunflower seed miniaturizes Quilbert. Make sure to administer before enlargement effect expires. List of Quilbert skills. Infinite quills. Three more quills grow out from the place of, of a removed one. Chestnut attack. Quilbert turns into a rolling chestnut to attack. Trichromatic quill. Oh, trichromatic quill barrage. Quilbert shoots out white, brown, and black colored quills. Stimulation varies by color. As expected of a hedgehog, you're specialized in using your quills. Quilbert, is it okay for me to pull them out? Really? But wouldn't that hurt you? Okay, then can I get a needle of each color? The white one has a, oh, has a gentle flavor. This one should work well on the gladiators. Browns, oh, browns, I mean, kick to it. The black one has a K flavor, but you don't know what that is yourself. Sounds ominous. Guess I'll try it on someone later. Anyway, the needle crisis is officially over. All right. I just caught a quilt. <laughs> Not Pokemon, bro. You go kill yourself. Bro, you're killing yourself. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. We didn't even have a Pokeball though. Soothing Ember Clinic? Sire, what is that thing? Say hi to Sir Quilbert. Not Sir Quilbert. 
Right. But I was asking you how you found. <clears throat> Why that? As I was trying to fall asleep, a rustling sound there by the window, and I reached out and Quilbert pursed up in a blah 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 blah. You can ask Sir Quilbert for the specific details. Quill. He like, you know what? I'm just if I was Piero, I wouldn't even ask. <clears throat> I wouldn't ask anymore, bro. I'm just be like, you got it, fam. Isn't that a summoned servant? Just like the hamster or the rattlesnake that aided the genius builder, Lord Frontera, <laughs> 300 years ago. <laughs> Wait, we still have records of this? Oh, shit. Just like the hamster or the rattlesnake aided the genius builder, Lord Frontera, 300 years ago. They seldom grace the world with their presence and dedicate their entire lives to serving the humans they choose. Such mysterious and extraordinary creatures they are. But how? How did he obtain one? Sire, are you hiding yet another side of you from me? I beg your forgiveness, your highness. I committed a crime of deserving of death. Don't worry about it, Sergio. Pain can make a man do wild things. And besides, it seems you've grown immune to the prick of needles. Sire, I'm not sure if that's the case. I've already laid the needles, you see. What? Good. Very good. It's all so easy now. I swear, something just passed by me. You're merely looking at my after image, dear. <laughs> with this, oh, with the way things are going. Nice. Trigger Xanfi level one. The skill has been activated. Patient Demian Kane and 13 others. Treatment hex brand removed. Final lifespan transfer 80 days. Projected lifespan 171 days. The transfer of surplus lifespan has leveled up your trigger exam fee. Trigger exam fee level 2. Deposit ratio 2000 to 1 equals 1950 to 1. What? I even leveled up a skill? What a deal! Who is this? What on earth could possibly delight you, the crown prince? What aspect of our recovery brings you such joy? Oh, it's Demian. Why are you so overjoyed by it? Boy, if you only knew. If you only knew, my boy. Good. And I guess my dealings with the gladiators are now over. However. However what? have the latest report on the crown prince your majesty two days ago all 14 gladiators were appointed as the crown prince's bodyguards bodyguards yes your majesty he bestowed the title the prince's royal guard and commanded them to shadow him wherever he goes oh ain't nobody touching us ain't nobody touching us where did he oh what did he offer them for their services Contracts guaranteeing them a salary and benefit and oh and various benefits. An ill child who had been bedridden now has a bodyguard of gladiators at his side. This is becoming more and more interesting, my son. Ah, and one more thing. He has gathered every servant and maid from the royal villa. Viciously jabbed them with needles. That that is, I don't think that's entirely accurate. Not to viciously jab them with needles. Um, yeah, I don't think that's entirely accurate. I could be, I, I yeah, yeah, not entirely. Accurate. We're we're not gonna viciously jab them with needles. We're gonna politely jab them with needles. It's a difference. But that's it for today's video, man. Hope you guys enjoy. You did. Make sure to drop a like, sub to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about everything that happened in the comment section below. Also, you guys want to keep up with me? Twitch, Twitter, Discord links. All of that is in the description as well. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.